today. Nikki Haley announced that she is going to stay in the Republican primary until the very end. This kind of surprised me. I would have thought she had, would get out by now. The South Carolina primary, her home state, is on Saturday, and she is almost certain to get drubbed there, just as will happen in every other state on the primary calendar. There are some who are watching this saying, well, Haley has a strategy here, because if Trump stumbles, if Trump gets convicted, if Trump health issue happens to Donald Trump, she'll be the nominee. First, we should note that the only thing that will stop Donald Trump from being the nominee is a health issue. Even if he gets convicted, he can still run. Even if he's in jail, he'll still be the nominee. Those things are unlikely to happen, but he's the nominee. The second thing is, even if something were to happen to Trump, the nomination doesn't automatically go to the person who came in second, a distant second in a lot of primaries. There will be a convention full of Trump delegates, and they're not going to land on Nikki Haley. I understand why so many people both in the Republican Party and also kind of in the center of the Democratic Party, want Nikki Haley to be stronger than she is. If Nikki Haley has a real shot at the Republican nomination, then the Republican Party hasn't gone as full MAGA, hasn't committed as fully to the fascist agenda. But she doesn't have a shot for, at the Republican nomination. To put this in perspective, baseball season is almost here. I played first base in high school. The Yankees' first baseman, Anthony Rizzo, is recovering from a concussion, which really hurt his year last year. There is a chance that Rizzo doesn't recover well from his concussion, and Brian Cashman calls me up and says, Lincoln, I know you're in your mid-50s, and you haven't played a real game of baseball in over th in about 30 years, but we'd love to have you be the opening day first baseman. I suppose in some universe there's a chance that, that will happen, but I'm not planning my future around it, and anybody who thinks it actually might happen is being absurd. That's about how I see the possibility of a Nikki Haley presidency.